Industrial engineers have broad and diverse job potential. Besides being able to work in virtually any industry, industrial engineers can have many different types of jobs throughout their careers. But what exactly are these jobs? Well, this question interested me so much that I chose it to be my main research question for my master's dissertation. To answer this research question, I went to the internet and started to search for job titles associated with the industrial engineering qualification. In this presentation, I wanted to share what I found out. The main thing that I found out is that there are a lot of job titles associated with industrial engineering. This list shows 115 unique job titles that an industrial engineering graduate could potentially pursue. I was able to find even more than these, but this is the list after it was filtered and standardized. Now, I could spend the rest of this video reading this list, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to share how I was able to simplify this list into a sort of formula for potential industrial engineering job titles. Before I go into this formula, though, I wanted to share some of the most common job titles that are associated with industrial engineering on the internet. These job titles repeated two or more times across the different sources that I used, and they give a quick glimpse into the breadth and variety of the industrial engineering job potential. These common job titles are business analyst, data scientist, demand planner, logistics engineer, manufacturing engineer, manufacturing manager, process engineer, process improvement manager, production engineer, quality engineer, quality manager, reliability engineer, supply chain analyst, and supply chain manager. When reading through that list of job titles, you may have noticed that job titles tend to follow a certain pattern. That is, they are composed of two parts. The first part is one or more words describing a certain area of concern. That would be something like human factors, facility, or business process management. The second part is one word describing a certain job role or function, so something like engineer, planner, or manager. Together, these two parts make a job title, such as human factors engineer, facility planner, or business process management manager. I used this conventional job title format to analyze and simplify that original list of 115 job titles. To do this, I first split every single one of those job titles into its two parts, part one describing area of concern and part two describing job role or function. Here's what that analysis looked like. These are word clouds with my data from that list. The bigger the word, the more commonly that word appeared in the list. As you can see, some of the most common part one words were operations, manufacturing, process, and business. Some of the most common part two words were engineer, analyst, manager, and consultant. However, in this form, the data is still messy and needed to be simplified further. This is where I created some categories for the words. To do this, I looked at words that were similar in meaning and grouped them together to form categories. For example, in part one, I grouped the words supply chain and logistics which are closely related. I also grouped words like ergonomics and human factors for the same reason. For part two, I grouped words like consultant and advisor. Ultimately, after grouping a lot of similar words, I was able to come up with 10 main categories describing area of concern and four main categories describing job role or function. The area of concern categories are 1. Supply chain and logistics, 2. Business and management, 3. Quality, reliability, and safety, 4. Manufacturing and production, 5. Data, information, and technology, 6. Lean, Six Sigma, and continuous improvement, 7. Method, process, operation, system, and project, 8. Procurement, purchasing, and investment, 9. Facility, Field, and Plant, and 10. Ergonomics and Human Factors. 
The job role or function categories are engineer, analyst, manager, and consultant. So here we have a sort of formula to show the job potential of the industrial engineer. For the most part, one can take one or more category from the area of concern side of the formula and combine it with a job role or function from the other side of the formula, and you would end up with a potential industrial engineering job title. Let me show you how this worked for one of the most common areas of concern, supply chain. Going back to the original list, here you can see all of the job titles that started with the term supply chain. This is how these job titles looked like when linked back to the equation. As you can see, an industrial engineer could be a supply chain engineer, manager, analyst, or consultant. There is also more variation like supply chain lead, which can be grouped under the manager category as leading can be considered a function of management. An industrial engineer could even combine supply chain with other areas of concern like management and operations. This combination of competencies shows in job titles like supply chain operations director or supply chain management consultant. To summarize, here is an infographic showing multiple aspects of the job potential of the industrial engineer. The words in the sky represent areas of concern, the people icons represent job roles, and the ground area represents some industries or environments that industrial engineers can be present in. It is up to each individual industrial engineer to choose their own path. An industrial engineer may end up choosing one or more job roles or functions, along with one or more areas of concern, to be applied in one or more industries. Whether that is quality analysis in the manufacturing industry, facility management in the retail industry, or human factors engineering in the healthcare industry. Ultimately, the industrial engineering job potential is so broad that it may even be confusing, especially when you factor in the complexity of the real-world job market and individual choices. One way that I like to think about it is that the industrial engineering profession is that of problem solving. It is focused on making improvements to the processes and systems of industry, and this can take on a lot of different forms. In this presentation, I outlined the most generic forms and hopefully gave an overview of the broadness and flexibility of the profession. For more details on this research, I will put a link to my dissertation in the description bar below. Thank you for watching, and if you're an industrial engineer looking for a job, I wish you the best of luck. You surely have many options ahead of you.